So, today we are going to talk about run and gun shooting. So, first we gotta establish what is run and gun shooting. So run and gun shooting is when you are visiting multiple places, multiple locations. For example, when I'm shooting a vlog or when I'm going to shoot a documentary, I'm going all over the place. I'm on different locations, different sets, so to say. So I don't have control of my environment, but when you are shooting a non run and gun shooting video, you have one set, one type of lighting, one type of way the visuals look and they stay the same throughout the video. So now that we established what the run and gun video is, I'm going to explain to you guys some tips you can use to think about when you are shooting a run and gun video. So the first tip I have for you guys is make sure your make sure your backpack is packed lightly if you are going to shoot a vlog or a documentary or a wedding most of the time you are outside a lot running and gunning you are on different locations for longer periods of time and you don't want to have a backpack that's really heavy with all your lenses in it all your camera bodies you don't want to have all of that in your backpack while you are shooting a run and gun style video so when you are running and gunning make sure your backpack is packed lightly so you don't have sore shoulders at the end of the day but this tip goes hand in hand with the second tip so let's continue on so my second tip for you guys is make sure you take at least two different lenses with you and the reason for that is you don't want to have just one lens when you are running and gunning you want to make sure that your backpack is light but also that your backpack has things you need for the shoot first lens i recommend for you guys taking which obviously the 15 to 35 millimeter also use every other wide angle lens with those types of lenses you can take a lot more of the scenery which is always beautiful so i recommend always having at least one wide angle lens with you you can also add a 50 millimeter for your close-up shots and if you want to get even tighter with the angle you can also use an 85 millimeter so you can also go for a 24 to 105 millimeter or a 24 to 75 millimeter it doesn't really matter which one you prefer but if you use a zoom lens with a wide focal length to a narrow that can help you reduce the amount of lenses you are bringing with you I prefer having two lenses most free lenses but two lenses is the way to go make sure you think about that and think about the types of lenses you are using for your specific situation make sure you think about that so the third tip I have for you guys is scout your location with scout your location I mean as a creative when we are going to different places we tend to run in there start shooting without looking at the scenery so my tip for you guys is when you are running and gunning going to different places make sure you take at least five to ten minutes looking at the scenery looking at the lighting situation looking at those creative angles you could take and then start so if you do that you have much more information to work with give yourself the creative freedom and the creative opportunity to get those creative angles make sure you scout your location before you start shooting last but certainly not least is prepare yourself for the run and gun shoot when you are running and gunning you you need to have everything optimized and do things pretty fast so when you are shooting your run and gun style video you know that everything is in place so make sure pack your backpack the previous day put all of your lenses in it that you need make sure the batteries are charged make sure the SD card is empty so you don't miss out on footage because your memory card is just full so make sure to prepare yourself as much as possible so you don't run into problems so those were the four tips you can use when you are going to shoot a run and gun style video or when you are going to film in run and gun style. With that being said, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure you leave a comment down below and smash that like button. Tell me if you guys do a lot of running and gunning. And with that being said, I see you guys in the next video.